But we begin with a Detroit family reeling tonight in the wake of a deadly officer involved shooting over the weekend in Detroit. Yeah, at the center of this tragedy, a 20 year old mentally ill man armed with a knife. The attorney for the man's family claims police shot him over 30 times. It happened in the area of Snowden and Linden, close to Shaver Highway on the city's west side. According to the website gunviolencearchive.org, this is the third officer involved shooting in the city of Detroit so far this year. There were four in all of last year and seven in 2020. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with the victim's mother and witnesses about what happened. I spoke with Porter Burke's mother. The family attorney says an incredible number of bullets were fired from over there where the incident happened. But take a look over here at this charter bus. You can see the damage from that gunfire. I honestly thought it was a drive by shooting that happened. Shattered windows and bullet holes adorn the side of Aaron Montgomery's charter bus on Snowden Street. He says he had just gotten home from driving his other bus Sunday morning around 4.30 a.m. when he heard gunfire about 30 minutes later. Chief James White says the family of a mentally ill man called police and reported he had a knife. The chief says officers shot him. Family identifies the man as 20-year-old Porter Burks. Upon encountering him, uh, there was an, some type of resistance. We're looking at into uh, whether or not he charged the officers, uh, whether or not uh, he attempted to, to stab the officers. We just don't know enough right now. The chief says non-lethal force was initially used. They deploy a taser. We're looking into whether or not the taser took effect, but obviously it did not. Uh, and uh, they engaged in uh, fatal force. Burke's family wants to know what happened with that taser. They also have questions about the police response. So do neighbors. And I believe law enforcement need better training when it comes down to handling mental patients. I think that guy who lost his life that night, although yes, shots rang out towards my home and, our, and my businesses here with the buses, could have been handled better. Porter Burke's mother tells me her son suffered from schizophrenia. Detroit police have been working to change how they handle calls for people dealing with a mental health crisis. Last year, we told you about a new partnership between DPD to train officers. There are a lot of questions still remaining in the wake of this shooting. So now I got to stop my money and my income coming in because of because of foolishness. The family directed me to Figer Law Firm, who sent us this statement saying they're working to obtain all of the evidence that they can. They go on to say, quote, we are working hard to understand how and why a mentally ill citizen whose family called for help was tased and then reportedly shot over 30 times, end quote. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.